Hi guys, Aiden Gamer here. Today I'll be talking about the bot called Optimum. Now this is actually my friend's bot, and it is an amazing bot, and it is actually a beta bot. So like, it's been it's pretty new, and they're still working on it, and they're like they're gonna develop much more stuff. But it's actually a very nice bot, and I want to show you some stuff about the bot, and also go to the Discord server. Now all the links for this bot are in the description, and I'll. And also, I'll link the YouTube channel of the creator in the description too. And this is an amazing bot. Now, I will also be making a video showcasing the bot that I made and the bot, another bot that a different friend made. Because they're also both really good bots. And I'll be showing them in later videos. So let's start with Optimum. Now, to start off, if you go to this website, there is the invite link to the actual bot if you want to invite your bot to a server. Which I highly recommend doing. It's an amazing bot and you should add it to your server. And also there's a link to the discord server and this just sends you to the discord server where you can talk to friends uh give suggestions currently we i am working on making an faq for the bot so you could have a chance to actually show up in this website as long as you join the discord server and give any ideas for faq which would be really cool so to start off i should tell you about the commands which are basically everything you should know about the bot optimum any bot has a lot of commands and optimum has some great commands so I'll be start by showing you off the moderation commands. These are the start. These are the overall commands. Now there's o dot ban, not o dot, but o hyphen, o hyphen ban. And this all just specifies. This is so. Actually, I did. I know how this works. So this is the command, and every command has a default pre prefix of o hyphen. Now this is actually really easy prefix to use because you never have to click shift because that's very annoying when you have to do a bot and it's just two clicks and it's actually really easy to use so let's start off with the moderation commands i won't be saying each one specifically because that will take a lot of time but i'll just be hovering over each one and i'll be going over ones that might be a little bit confusing to use and also some strategies that you can use when you're using these commands so let's go through moderation Next is utility. Oh, like final. There's one thing I want to say is that O purge is super useful because you can use O purge to find ghost pings, which is super useful because if somebody just pings you and they just delete it, that'd be annoying. So if you do O dot purge, you can find the nearest deleted message, which is very useful. And O dot lock and O dot unlock just just mute everybody except people who have administrator rank, which is also useful. Let's go to utility. So O dot help is basically the most useful command out of all of these. It basically just sends the user all of like the commands of the bot, like everything, like the description of each command, which is also very useful. But this website does help a lot with knowing the bot. So let's go. Let's just hover over each one. And next is fun. Now these are all really fun commands, and you can use them to troll your friends and the detail in each of these commands is actually very like cool because like it, it looks so hard and it's like so cool it's like so useful o.20 is kind of like you might wonder what it's doing o.20 is just the command that celebrates that they hit 20 servers and they're hitting much more they like they're going higher and higher in servers count like as time goes on and i hope that they reach 100 servers by one time now nick me is actually really funny it just gives you a random nickname and also gives you context about the nickname which a lot of bots can't offer you so honestly i like o dot nick me it's, it's a very nice command o dot tts is sometimes annoying <laughs> my friends used to always use it to troll because it's like so annoying when it joins and then says tts but if somebody does not have a microphone o dot tts actually is very useful now currency, currency. That this is the stuff that I actually, I actually coded this stuff. Currency. Just not, I didn't code the commands. I just coded it on the website. I'm not good enough to actually make commands like this. But I can go over some tips that you can use in currency to get as much cash as possible. Because some of these, there's actually a strategy that you can use to get as much money as possible in Optimum Coin. And it actually is not having to do anything with o dot earn or o dot for o hyphen earn or o hyphen force. These just give you some cash. I think that they give you more if you have more money in your wallet, but I'm not sure about that. But 
the main thing that we have to talk about. Now, ODOT Gamble, I do not recommend this at all. Do not use ODOT Gamble. It sucks. It is not a good win percentage rate. Only use it if you're desperate for cash. And trust me, it just doesn't work. Now, this is where you get the good stuff. ODOT Hourly and ODOT Daily. These are the good commands. They give you more money depending on how much money you have in your wallet. So if you have like $1 in your wallet, then you might get like $1 from ODOT Daily. But if you have like a thousand dollars, a thousand coins in your wallet, then you can get like 700 coins. Not 700, but less, but it's randomized, but it's like much more if you have more money in your wallet. Now this is how some people actually have like hundreds of thousands of coins. And I thought this was impossible until I realized how overpowered it is. So use ODOT daily every day if you want to grind these coins and you will get to like high amounts easily. ODOT Gamble is just a sidetrack, it's not useful, it does not get you coins. ODOT Daily is what you have to go for. And ODOT Hourly is also very useful because it just gives you a nice amount of coins per hour. It doesn't give you anywhere close to ODOT Daily, but it's still super useful. Now ODOT Battle, you can just check your ba um, balance. And also, this is very useful because you get to check how much, uh, you get to check your, like, how much money is in it. And they're also going to add a shop. So if you want to buy items, you'll probably have to check your bow, so that'd be useful. But yeah, the shop will be very cool. They're currently making it right now. I asked them about it. And if you do have any questions, you can put them in the description or ask them on the Optimum Discord. I can try to answer them or ask the owners if they can answer them. So that would be pretty cool. Now let's go back. Now this is all Optimum commands. I went over all of them. So now let's go to the home. Or let's go to the about page first because this is about the both the creators now, these are not me i not anything that's to do with creating this bot these are just my friends and i want to shout them out because they're very cool this is cool guy 17 he uh i know him like pretty well he made he's like really good at coding and honestly he's like a god at coding so yeah now this is a j i know him pretty pretty well so I'm gonna be linking his YouTube channel in the description. He's gonna, he said he's gonna release more coding videos. I'm not so sure about that because he doesn't upload that often, but I mean, I can't really say that I don't upload either, but yeah. Uh, he does make a lot of coding and stuff, and he's also really cool. And he's really nice. So yeah, if, it would do no harm if you could just use his bot on your server. The bot is not a spam hazard, it has cooldown and everything. And it's just a very nice thing to play with. And especially once the shop comes out, it's going to be even more fun. So, now let's go to home. FAQ and dashboard are still in the making. And remember, if you want to drop a comment, a uh, question in... Uh, not, not, that's not what I meant. But if you want to put like a question, like a frequently asked question in the Discord server, remember to do that. Or in the comments, I would rather recommend using the Discord server. It's much easier. And, and I can answer it and put it on the website, which would be very nice. You could have a chance to be appeared here with the question and the answer and you would technically be engraving yourself in optimum history and also i might put the discord user uh, name here before the question if that's what you want to do just ask me and i might do it so let's go to home now let's go to the discord server because i basically did summarize the bot so finally i'll be going to, this is the optimum channel now discord server now there are many things in here this is the welcome so they do welcome it now optimum worker is just a bot that is used to help code it it's scuffed but a bot helps a bot that's basically what it means so these are all the rules uh it sounds pretty it's it's pretty long but the reason why they do this is to have like a friendly community and they don't want to be mean and stuff and they don't want to abuse like anything to abuse like you can see all of this it's not really anything bad it's just trying to make the server more like friendly and the fact that they did make so many rules shows how much they care about the server. So that's pretty nice. Now this is a bunch of announcements. I won't be going over them because they're pretty long. And if you want to read them yourself, it'd be pretty nice. Now this is just general chat. I'm not going to go over this. It's just everyone flexing on how much cash they have. And yeah, it's pretty nice. Give me optimum cash, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so this is Optimum 1 and 2, where you can use commands. This is other bots. Uh, you can use any other bots here. This is Coding Doc. And you can see I'm a web dev because I work on the website. So, I'm a web dev. 
So get wrecked, anyone who's a uh, optimum user and not a uh, web dev like me. So this is all the coding stuff. And then this is the private dev stuff. You can see it though. I mean, they let you see what they're doing and watch them fail as they're doing it. And this is my web dev talk. This is only mine. I get to talk in this. I have a cool VC chat that I have. It's only mine. It's pretty cool. And that is basically it. Now you can look in here for memes. And it is a pretty nice community. So yeah, that's it. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching.